YouTube, this is X2 Good Policy here bringing you another episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. This is episode 2 on how to make a basic Cinema 4D intro. Now, before we get on to the tutorial, I want to do a couple things now. For number one, I want to address that you really need to check out this dual Taj that our clan channel just uploaded. It's a dualtage and it's it's amazing. Amazing feeds, amazing edit. It's not over edit though, but it's nice editing. It's kinda simple, but it's still good. Also we I am gonna be releasing two tutorials today. I mean um this week. Because I didn't release a tutorial Tuesday last week. So this week I'm gonna upload one today. This is Tuesday because Tutorial Tuesday, and then one on Thursday. It'll still be named Tutorial Tuesdays, but you you get it because I didn't upload one last week. So let's get into this. Um, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go into render settings, blah, 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 render settings, and change the width to 1280 and the height to 720. Okay, go to save file. Click these three little dots right here to save wherever you want. I'm not even going to save it. Um, Go to Format. Change it to AVI. Movie. Options. Uh, Intel IYUV Kodiak. Okay. Um, then we're going to go to Anti-Analyzing. Change it to Best. And Filter. Change it to Animation. Yeah. Change it to Animation. Okay. Next thing we're going to want to do is click and drag and we're going to make a floor. Once you got the floor, go to coordinates, change s.x to 9, s.y to 9, and s.z to 9. Basically makes the floor really big so that you don't run out of room. Then we're going to click on your floor, control, and drag it down. That will make a um, duplicate of your floor. We're going to double click on floor point 1 and rename it. Wow. Click on wall, go to rotation, change the P to 90 degrees. And there we go, got a simple floor and a simple wall. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is we are going to go to MoGraph, MoText. Um, change the depth to 80. Change the text to whatever you want. I'm going to change name it Tutorial. Go to font, click what, check whatever font you want. Um, the font for um that I'm gonna use is called Haunting Attraction. Where is it? Where is it? Where, oh, where is it? Wait, A H S A H S. There it is. Well, yeah, Haunting Attraction will be in the description below. If you want it, the download will be in the description below. All right, then we're going to want to go to Caps, Start, Fill Cap, and Fill Cap. Change the Steps to 5, and the Radius to 3. Steps to 5, Radius to 3. Yep, right, now we're going to want to drag our text out of the wall so that you can see it and it's barely not touching the wall and then we're just going to want to change the view if it's too long enough if it's too long to see it what we're just going to do here is this is the move your uh, perspective around zoom in and out and change the angle, change the angle a bit. just if you didn't know that if you're like a true beginner what Next thing we're going to want to do here is we are going to create a light. Just click that. It's going to create a light for you. And then go to the middle of your text, which would for me be between the O and the R. And then drag your light up about to 400. Like right there. All right. Click your light, control, drag it down, double click on light point one, name it front light 
and then name your original light top light there you go take front light and then drag it out about 400 basically makes a nice lighting for it if you can see too much time oh yeah okay. highlight both your lights go to shadow and make it shadow map soft and change the dens density to 50% there we go it'll give it a nice shadow if you see nice shadows um then what we're going to do we're gonna click down here to add material double click on your material and then change the color to what you want your primary color to be I want mine to be green okay go to reflection change the brightness to zero go to texture make it a fresnel then make the mix strength about 25 Boom. Control a drag, I'll make another copy, double click on your material, and then change this color to black. Once again, control drag, and then this time make this color a grayish color. I like perfect gray in between black and white. You can do whatever you want. Any shade of white and black, anything in between here, any shade of gray, not pure white and not pure black. Those look really bad. I usually do mine just regular gray. Click OK. Exit out. Okay. Drag your gray onto your floor and then control drag it and then it will be on your floor on your wall. Then we're going to want to drag our green or whatever primary color you have and your black to your Motex. Now we're going to have one color in the front and one color in the sides. Now. If you, whatever color you want on the sides, put it in the back. So the green's in the front right now. So the green, no, whatever color you want in the front, put it in the back. So right now the black is in the front and the green is in the sides, but you still can't see it. So you're gonna want to go to whatever color you want in the front, and then put it in the second, put it the last, and then name it C1, capital C1. And then that will make the black in the front and then the green in the sides or if you want whatever you can switch it around I'm gonna switch it around C1 now oh, I like that better the greens in the front blacks on the sides I like that okay now once you got that we are going to want to go to um light control and then i mean uh drag and then go to camera once you're on cameras go to camera scene camera camera and now go to where you want your intro to start i'm going to start right here once you got where you want to start put it to zero and then make a keyframe then go to about 25 and we are going to go to where you want your intro to go and then make another keyframe. And what that's going to do is it's going to do what you just did. Well, then you're going to go to about like uh, 50. I'm just going to zoom out. You can, you know what to do now, right? You kind of get in it. Then then I'm gonna pan like that so it's like, like that it's a little laggy I'm sorry yes yeah, yeah it's kinda laggy okay and then we're gonna go to 75 we're gonna make it something like that keyframe now then 
then at the end of your intro you want to zoom in somewhere zoom in and s zoom into the black somewhere so um on your last keyframe make sure that this little square right here is on a part of the black and then go to five keyframes after your last keyframe and then just zoom into the black so it looks like you zoom in the black uh, keyframe let's look over the whole thing I might not play the whole thing because I have Contagious Studio open as well so it might be a little laggy yep it's not going to but you get what I'm trying to do okay we can go key by key like there you get it okay okay now a very important thing here what to do is we need to go not to there whoopsies <laughs> go to rendering settings output and then make it from zero to whenever your last keyframe was plus five so mine would be 85 because my last keyframe was at 80. make sure to do that that's it guys please if if this helped you please rate comment and subscribe check out our clan channel that will be in the description below peace out youtube